everybody. Today I'm going to be doing a model comparison between the new D11 Hex and the D11T. Both are made by Diecast Masters. This one just came out in July or was available in July of 2020. This one I believe came out in November in the States in 2018 I believe. So there's roughly almost a tier difference between the two. Um, anyway, this is a video I wanted to make because I've uh, seen and I wasn't sure if there were going to be any differences between the two dozers besides the ripper and the blade. But when I looked closer at them and the decals, and what, but when I looked closer at them, there are s some other differences um, that I noticed that I just want to point out there just to prove that this is a different casting and model than the T. So, yeah, that's the main reason why I'm comparing the two. I'm not trying to say one's better than the other. I'm not going to go over the functionality or any of that stuff on these because there's reviews of both of them out there on YouTube. If you want to see that, go watch other people's reviews of them. Like I said, I'm mainly just doing this to point out the differences. So, let's get started with this. Um, on both models, I'm going to start on the U-Blade. Um, so, as you can see, the perforations on this are the same going all the way across, whereas on this, the die, on the standard D11, you have these smaller perforations on the front, so that's a major difference between the two. It's black, and this is yellow. The back of the blades are also different because on the D11T, you have black anti-glare paint, paint, and on the Hex D11, it's yellow. So it's got, this model definitely has more yellow on it. Um, the fronts of the grills, besides the sticker, this has the new Hex. This has your classic old school cat. The grills are different on them. As you can see, this has a square in the middle with perforations going down the sides, whereas this has more perforations and then this this kind of uh, part in the middle that goes up. This is this square right here is flush, and this one actually comes out and up and down on it. So that's another difference on the fronts. Going to the sides, this would be the right hand side or sorry, the left-hand side of the machine. Um, the steps are different. So right here, you have yellow perforated steps. On the D11, it's black. So, and then the steps are also different. So as you can see right there, it's got these cross members right here. Whereas on the T, it's built in and it doesn't have any cross members. It's it's mounted to the side of the machine. Whereas compared to this one is actually mounted to the top step itself. So that's a difference. This one has a decal here. The T doesn't. So that's another one. The D11T doesn't have a decal for an engine perforation by this door. The standard D11 does. The handrails to open this door black. They're yellow on the T. The actual steps, I'll go over that in a minute. Something else that's noticeable is on top of the ROPS, it's just plain up here. Up here, you've got wiring that's casted in and painted. And that's Cat's new grade control. All the new machines are have built-in grade control in the, into the cab. You don't have your pods mounted on the front of the blade anymore with the wiring going to the machine. You have it all on top now. Um, obviously, that has the black D11T. This cat's dropped the nomenclature with the letter system, so now it's just a D11 with the hex logo. Um, both have the ladders that come down, so, but that's what the hex logo looks like. There's the old school power edge. 
So that's what that looks like. Um, I did say that there was differences in the steps. So I will go over that. So as you can see, on the D11, you have steps that are solid and just kind of stair step up from, from where you get into the cab app. Whereas on the T, you can see it's kind of hollow in the middle there, and then there's a step built into it, and then it stair steps up and it's black. Whereas you don't have that perforated black part there on this side. So that's a difference. You can see the siding, the hydraulic tank right here, is more square. Whereas on the T, it's more of a triangular shape and it's got that door casted in on the front. Whereas it doesn't there. It's got a graphic on the T, or on the standard D11 has a graphic and the T doesn't. So both of them have a cap and, and some uh, stuff casted in the casting there. Both of them are different as well. You can see the cap on the D11 is right next to the window. The T, it's more offset, more towards the ROPS. So that is a difference between the two. The top, um, you can see on the, my camera is not focusing well, but you can see there's decals on the top of the windows on both sides. And then there's an AC unit right here, I believe. So that's another difference. The T is pretty plain Jane on the top. So getting towards the back, looking at both. Looking at both. Uh, you can see the perforations are different even up here. Your hat, your caps for diesel fuel and everything on the T or on the D11 is closer to the window. Whereas on the T, they're more towards the ripper and the fire suppression equipment. So, and they're black there. Whereas on the T, D11, they're yellow. And you can see the perforation or the, uh, the uh, caps go around the, uh, the caps go around the, the the mesh, so that's another difference. And then the backs both have the fire suppression equipment. This has a three shank ripper. This has a single shank ripper. That's pretty known. Um, the hex logo, the normal logo. Um, the only other difference I can see is the the hoses on the fire suppression equipment on the T is black, and the hoses on the new D11 are red. So that is another difference. Um, so pretty much going to conclude this comparison. Like I said, I just wanted to make this to show that this new D11 is a different model than the T and just kind of wanted to give more detail description of the two. You can pick which one you want, if not both of them, they're great, both great models. Um, and it's nice to see that there have been changes, not only in the actual design between the two and it's not just a rebadged machine but the model is also being accurate to the real machine and they're not just taking a T and putting a different ripper and a blade on it and uh, putting a different uh, decal on it and calling it a new model like other manufacturers in the past have so that'll conclude this model comparison of the two they're both great great models I recommend both of them um, I will talk to you later. Have a good day. Bye-bye.